Hey guys, Marvin here with Driven by Graphics. Uh, I get asked fairly often um, how to load the color palettes within CorelDRAW uh, for VersaWorks. I've got VersaWorks open here, and essentially to get this special item here uh, to do print and cut specifically, um, to really get it to read the cut line, you need to have a specific uh, cut contour line loaded into, for example, I use CorelDRAW. And so I was going to go ahead and illustrate how to go about loading um, that palette. Um, you can see on my right hand side right now, I do have um, a palette loaded um, that shows, let's see if it pops up over here, the cut contour, and then I also have a perf cut contour. Um, this is a custom palette I made, and I'll show how to do that in a moment. Let me just close this one out. And if I can get the menu to pop up for myself. I went to close. All right, so I close that out. Um, so yours may be like this initially, or you may have some other palettes open. Um, I'll show you how to actually get palettes, which I actually have here in my dockers. Let me close this also. And essentially, you just go up to Window and to Color Palettes. Now this is I am using the 2021 version. Um, you kind of see up here, and Color Palettes, and then Palettes, and then when you open Palettes, it'll open uh, the Palettes Docker. Now to get the VersaWorks um, color palette, you just go under these palette libraries, it's the default palette libraries, under spot colors, just expand that triangle, and you look for Roland, which is here, and expand this out, and here is the default Roland VersaWorks color palette, and you can just enable it, check it, and it comes right up here. And so now I have my cut contour, See if that pops up on this side. I've got dual monitors. Sometimes that fly out opens up on my other monitor. The RDG white, and these are just specific colors. Uh, typically, nobody else uses these other ones other than the cut contour um, with the, uh, the typical print and cut, anyways. Um, the main thing you're looking for is that uh, cut contour. Um, now, to set that, typically you'll have whatever your cut line is, and it's just a simple right click on that cut contour line to make it that color and you can see down here now my outline is set to cut contour and so VersaWorks would read this in as a cut line. Um, now a while back I created my own custom palette um, so I could have the perf cut contour uh, line because as you see it's, it's not one of the default ones here. Um, so I will show how to load that one also. So if you create a custom palette for example uh, I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how I'll make this available to you guys as well. Um, so if you, similar flyout under color palettes, instead of going to palettes, which brings out this uh, menu of palettes, you just go to open palette, and here it's going to bring up by default, um, this will be the, the kind of flyout here in terms of your documents, Corel, Corel content, palettes and you can load palettes into here. It's where uh, Corel will look for those by default. So this is what, where I go ahead and place them at. Um, but I went ahead and created a custom Roland palette that I'll select here and just click open. And that will bring that up with, why did it not bring it? Should have brought that up. I don't know why I closed it out there. Do that again. I apologize. Palettes, open palette, Roland, open. There it goes. Uh, so there's the cut contour, and here is a perf cut contour. And the perf cut contour can basically be used as a secondary line to add a perf cut, or it can be just as a perf cut itself. And the perf cut, uh, we'll talk about that in maybe a different video, but um, it allows the machine to do a different type of, of cutting um, pattern, if you will. Um, to really do more die cut type stuff. But essentially that's why I've got both the cut contour and the perf cut contour here loaded and that's how you get those in. Um, if you're interested in getting this uh, specific um, color palette with both of them, um, just shoot me an email. Um, I'll put that in the comments of the video so you can uh, email me directly, request that, and I'll just email it over to you. You can load it into the folder that I just showed here in the video and just get it loaded in. Um, I will go ahead and mention while I have the palettes open, a lot of people also um, like to use colors from the uh, Pantone um, chart or even the Roland um, color system library. You can print out this uh, Roland color chart from within VersaWorks um, in these chart types. 
and so you can load these and this will print out um, the rolling color library and so you can have a, a physical printout of how those colors will print and then you can basically use this Roland uh, color system library to map out and print those exact same colors uh, the same way they'll print and so you've got a good way to do that some people also like the Pantone charts those are also available here so you can go in their Pantone and then there's a bunch of different part uh, charts here from Pantone the latest ones are within my version of Corel are the solid coded uh, version 4 and then the uncoded version 4 as well but there's a lot of other Pantone charts also available here and just to enable those same thing just click a little radio button and your Pantone chart comes out and there's literally um, I don't know thousands of different colors in here may just be hundreds but obviously never counted so um, lots of availability there um, ultimately just wanted to show how to load that VersaWorks um, palette though just how to get to that and so you guys also got some little bonus footage here with the Pantone charts and rolling color library um, versa works there so hope that helps and um, if you got any questions feel free to drop a comment or uh, send me an email directly take care